Hey guys, uh, today I'll be talking about uh, how to run Flight Simulator X, the Microsoft Surface X, on a notebook or laptop PC. Now, first of all, I would like to show you my specifications. I currently have a Lenovo Flex 2 15 model with uh, i5 1.7 GHz uh, processor, 6 GB RAM, and a switchable NVIDIA graphics card of 2 GB. So if you want to check your graphics card, you can go to start and press BXBIAG and run that command. If it asks for a dialog box saying yes or no, you should press yes over there. This will calculate your system and after that you can go to display. This will show the current graphic card. Currently I am not running any graphic related uh, uh, software so it will be shown Intel. This is the graphic card nvidia geforce 840m ok that is the 2gb card i have ok and uh, previously also i had to run fsx on my older laptop that was hp pavilion dv6 uh, series laptop i will put the specification and links to both of the <coughs> laptops uh, down below ok so if you have got such specifications or uh, I will suggest you, you, if you would uh, like to compare your PC, I would give you a minimum specification. So that would be around, uh, if you have the core i, doesn't matter. If you have around 2 gigahertz quad core processor, 4 or more GB of RAM and 2 GB or more graphic card, preferably external graphic card that is a switchable graphic card from nvidia or ati if you have an intel graphic card however it can work but it the comparison the, the performance would be comparatively lower okay so after that i would like to show what i have installed in the flight simulator x i have flight simulator x installed with sp1 sp2 several add-ons the most thing, uh, maximum what you would like to know is I have installed Orbex scenery that would be somewhere over here okay you cannot see over there but I will show you over here that is ORBX FTX central scenery FTX global that is FTX global layers with base pack and uh, lighting and everything ok after that I will tell you that I have uh, installed uh, the Rex4 texture direct in uh, Rex4 I have applied uh, uh, most of effects including runways, clouds, uh, sun, sky, runway lighting everything is installed and I have several free add-ons installed from uh, RIK double o double o that would be riku if i spell if i pronounce correctly simulations that is 787 then i would have uh, airbus a320 mega pack from the riku 130 uh, boeing 737 okay boeing 777 and microsoft flight simulator x as i told you service pack 2 Next I would suggest that you turn down the resolution of your uh, display. It depends completely on you whether you want a very good performance or an average performance. For me the native resolution of this uh, laptop is 1080p but as you can see over here I will show you. I have turned it down to 1600 into 900 see that is recommended full HD ok. Sim same settings you have to apply to the FSX that we will talk about uh, later in the video after the installation I would suggest you you look at uh, the two or three videos that link I will put in the description by Matt Davis if you know already well and good that will be regarding DirectX 10 fix, fix ok so you have to download or you have to uh, get uh, or purchase the Steve's DX10 fixer for that 
and uh, regarding the installation and every procedure for that the you can check Matt Davis video okay so I will run the flight simulator X and show you the rest of the configuration okay moving on to the flight simulator let's see the settings we go to customize and as you can see the graphic card 840m frame rate is set to 35 the resolution is 1600 into 900 and isotropic filtering and NTS aliasing is on the graphic settings are very high and uh, DirectX preview is turned on now if you have used the Steve DX10 fixer already it should be ticked on by default if it is not tick it on and restart the flight simulator and DX10 will be enabled Now going to the aircraft settings, uh, show cockpit tooltip should be turned off, turn off any shadows, aircraft and ground shadows, scenery, this is my setting of the scenery as you can see, the complexity should be set to normal, autogen density as uh, you may experiment with it, all the settings, you can copy my settings but I am not uh, sure if it will give you the same performance, you have to keep experimenting with all these settings to get the best out of it you can copy these settings uh, ok and uh, have a look at the level of detail radius large mesh complexity is 100 mesh resolution is 2 meters texture resolution is 15 centimeter water effects is set to high not very high you can play around with these settings to get a lot of improvement I would suggest that you uh, try to keep the mesh complexity, mesh resolution and texture resolution almost parallel on the sliders moving on to the weather settings it is as default in the traffic settings uh, you can set road vehicles somewhere near 50 that would be looking uh, quite good you can uh, set uh, ships and ferries and leisure boat to whatever you can I would suggest around 10 to 20 would be just fine in the aircraft label department uh, just turn off any aircraft labels we do not want that that will help a little bit and uh, currently I am not using any traffic add-on the default traffic of FSX is just on so these settings would be just for that airline traffic density is set to around 20 to 30 so you can see some 2-3 uh, planes uh, lying around on the airport and the uh, general aviation traffic density as you may like and airport vehicle density also as you may like 